I'm Brandon McLean, and I have a car buying addiction. In order to combat this, I opened a mechanic shop to make some money, to help restore my cars while helping the people I can. Problem is, I can't stop buying cars. I have a lot of cars to restore and little time to do it, and the more I talk about it, the less time I can be doing it. So welcome to Terminated Restorations. Alright, so finally we can start working back on our Bolt Chapman. Uh, this is the F-Mill model, so we had to get a new block for it. And finally we can start reassembling it and ordering, actually just going to get the parts that we end up needing for it. But we will go ahead and start reinstalling all the parts that we were able to fix. And then hopefully just get ordered what we can't get fixed. So we need that. We need a fuel pump. Uh, do we have a distributor? Nope. Uh, the pulley? Don't have that either. We don't have... There's a lot of parts on this that are broken. <laughs> That's the trend I'm noticing right now. What about our pistons? We do not have the pistons. Awesome. Uh, so we need six pistons. Do we have any? Nope. Okay. What about you? I don't have you. I think you're already on the list. No, you're not. Uh, so we'll add you to the list. Okay, from the back of the engine we have the flywheel, which we also don't have. Alright, so let's spin... See if there's anything down here that we need. Do we have... Okay, looks like we should have all of the crankshaft bearings. Um, at least the caps. So we'll get those sorted. Should check to see if we need the piston caps as well. Uh, do we have piston caps? Yes, we do. We have the all those. We also have the top end of the distributor, so we got that going for us. Alright, so let's just order what we need real quick here. Alright. So, cam gear for an I6B. Uh, fuel pump for I6B. And a fuel filter. Uh, ignition distributor. The water pump pulley, which is just the plain one. We need arm. The arm A I six B and then arm B I six B uh, oil filter I six B where did am I going crazy or is it just I six? It's just the I six. And then we need pistons with Conrad. Six of those. And then a flywheel. Alright. Won't be the last time we stop in to get parts. So we can start installing our pistons here. Need the rings. That's... Yep. Told you we would be going back. So piston. We need six sets of rings. Be nice if, we, if they offered kits, but they don't. So... And we just do that all ourselves. That's fine. Full resto like this, this car will end up being sold, hopefully. Um, okay. Get that flywheel installed. Do we need a clutch plate? Yes, we do. So, new list. Clutch plate get all the rod caps on so we can maybe... I don't think we even have an oil pan. I think the oil pan on this car was damaged beyond repair. Not sure. We'll check once we get there. But first we need all the pistons reinstalled. Alright. Do we have the oil pan? Yes, we do. That was not this car. 
All right, perfect. Bottom end of this engine is done. Rotate it back and keep going. Oil filter, distributor, fuel pump. First arm. We have the power steering pump, I remember that. We were able to fix that. Let's go ahead and get all the parts of the distributor reattached. Uh, do we have the clips? That's another question. We do not have the clips, so I need to get those. Okay, cam gear. Need that timing chain for sure. And we got the pump pulley. Second arm, do we have the alternator? We do not have an alternator. And the engine head, we still have that. And we need to get 12 of these push rods and spark plugs. We also need an exhaust manifold. Uh, get that fuel filter installed. Alright, looks like we're going to make another trip. Alright. <clears throat> so, since I always forget about the clips, let's go ahead and do those first. Need a clutch. Plate. I'm going to assume we need both of these as well. Timing chain. I6B. There we go. Uh, valve push rod for the I6B. We need 12 of these, two per cylinder. And then we need uh, an alternator. Y six B and then the exhaust manifold for I six B. Alright. Back to reassembly, let's see. I didn't get the spark plugs. That is fine. Those don't immediately need to be installed, but kind of annoying that we haven't gotten them on hand. Probably need the the actual rocker arms too, don't we? Yes. So clear our list. Uh, we need 12 rocker arms and six spark plugs. All right. Rocker arms and spark plugs there. Timing chain we have. I think we have these covers. I was able to refurbish those in that nice blue color. Um, need the crankshaft pulley. Kind of figured as much. I think it was kind of broken. And alternator. Exhaust manifold we have. Alright, intake manifold. We also need one of those. A lot of problems on this. Not a lot of money being saved. Uh, okay, so... Rocker arms, we need 12 of these. And then spark plugs. Let's see, let's just get... Six spark plugs, crankshaft, pulley for a... V8, and then the intake manifold. Nice. I6B, there we go. Okay. Um, I didn't put these on, did I? There we go, those are on. Spark plug. Because I don't think we even have the ignition wires now that I think about it. Clutch plate, pressure plate, and brain. Okay, do we have the ignition wires? No. Clear the list, we need ignition wires. Go ahead and install that intake manifold. Also need the carburetor. 
Uh, we got the pulley. And we're going to need a set of serpentine belts. Alright, let's get the rocker arms on then. A lot of these little things. These are really annoying to <laughs> redo. Like, the more modern stuff has it all at one piece. Makes it a lot easier. These older older model, uh, model cars have these individuals. I mean, it makes it nice for if we were going to go do some performance, but, you know, this car is not going to be built for performance. It's going to just be built for practicality and, you know, send it off and whatnot. Alright, do we have the engine cover? We do not. Alright, this hopefully will be one of the last trips we make to buying parts. Ignition, wires, I6B, carb. Uh, for the I6B, serpentine belts. So we need A for I6B. And I'm just going to go on and let me get the B for the I6B as well while we're here. And then engine cover. Head cover for the I6B. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead. Get the head cover on. Get our ignition wires on, and then our carburetor. Uh, we can do the belts, and uh, did nope need a radiator fan, and that should be the front done. And then we need air filter base. Okay, air filter, we need the I6B air filter, and the I6B base, and then we need a radiator fan. Radiator fan B, where is that at? Right there, okay. Clear that list one more time, because I'll probably have to go back in and get the rest of the radiator parts, or the intake parts. Okay, intake, or radiator fan. Perfect, front end of the motor done. Air filter base, air filter. Do we have the cover? We do not. Okay, air filter cover. Air filter cover for the I6B. And we can go ahead and clear that list again. Alright, hopefully we have this engine ready to be mounted back into that car. All right, we'll go ahead and get our engine hoist ready. Uh, but the thing I want to do first is to, yeah, we need to refurbish those mounts on the bottom of this car. Otherwise, this engine will not sit very well on there. So that means redoing this whole entire area in here. We'll start by taking off all the exhaust sections all the way to the back and then we'll focus on taking all this excess stuff off. New wood. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save those rims. We'll take a look. Uh, I don't remember if I ordered any of these parts, but to have some extra on hand is not a bad thing. Okay. So in order to get to the mounts, um, we also want to check all the suspension and stuff. Um, we'll restore what we can. Uh, most of the stuff was in pretty rough shape. Um, I'm pretty sure we got to replace virtually all of it, but we'll see. I know that shock looked almost shot coming off. All right, let's take off this side of our bushings and then we'll go to the other side we might change up the rims too I don't know make the car look a little bit more modern make it easier to sell it has a unique paint job 
Uh, I don't really see a lot of those around with this that color. So it gives us a unique starting platform because we'll probably just keep it the same color. It's easier, cheaper to paint it back to original. And hell, it might give it a little bit better uh, sellability to the crowd that you'd probably want to sell it to. But we'll figure that out when we get to paint. Uh, thankfully, we did most of the bodywork already because that takes up a decent amount of time. And then get that new steering rack and all that kind of stuff. We'll get to see what we can salvage from the front. At least I believe we put new body panels on, didn't we? Or slightly newer. Yeah, everything's in better condition than it was. Yep. Alright, let's get the rest of this taken care of. We'll just do the rear. I'm going to put a new fuel tank on it. Uh, the fuel tanks on these things tend to go bad. Sadly, we will not be modernizing the rear brakes to stay as standard drum brakes to save some money. Because we can repair most of the uh, drum brake components in-house compared to needing a brand new disc, all that kind of stuff. At least we hope. Side's done. Let's get this room entire off. We'll go separate them. I doubt I can save these rooms. Need new tires, anyways. I think we'll just go ahead and just figure out what size they are and then order a new set of rims and tires. It'll be a little bit of a cost overhead on our side, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. Okay. Take off the rest of the sleep spring. Alright, and now we got all of that removed. So let's see what we can actually fix. Okay. Got what we think we can fix done. So we can reuse the cross member. We need four rubber bushings for that. So we'll just get the four that we need from our in house parts dealer. I think I actually had some on hand. I'm like in the warehouse already. Eh, maybe not. Get all of those reinstalled. Have ourselves a solid platform for working. Okay. Now, we do need one of these axles for this side. Or steering knuckles. Um, we were able to fix the steering rack. But we do need sway bar. And I don't think, yeah, we, need, we just need new tie rod ends on both sides. Uh, none of the exhaust is fixable, I don't believe. Yeah, there's too much rust in the exhaust, so we'll just go ahead and get all that ordered at least. And, uh, figure out what else we need. Um, suspension arms we have, we just need uh, rushings for both of those. Need a front axle cover. Got the hubs that we need. So we need a bearing and cap setup. Front disc brakes. Quite a bit. We have a lot of replacement to be done. Okay, we need four of these for sure. But I think I'm just going to order a bunch of them. So front. Steering. Axle C, steering knuckle, 
Uh, front sway bar B. Front exhaust section I6B. Let's see where we got that right there. Um, we need front axle knuckle cover right there. Tie rods. We need two sets. We need a muffler. There we got middle muffler and a rear for the V8 overhead valve. It's the same as that. Oh, my bundle line. There it is. Uh, then we need a wheel hub bearings, two of these. Wheel hub caps, two of these. And then brake disc ventilated and probably two new pads as well okay so we'll finish up this side first don't know I think we were able to save some of the caliper both of the calipers great that's a a welcome save of money okay Put in the rear, sh the front double wishbone. I think is going to need replaced entirely. But we'll will check. We got the front wishbone, tie rod, and then I think we need the yeah, end links as well. Okay, we'll get the other side up to that. Point. Very tedious job uh, restoring a car, but we got a lot of them to do. It's better to get the ones that I know will sell for common everyday cars out first. You can make some money to restore the ones that we might keep. Okay, so tie rod. Pushings. Uh, we got the upper. And that's also something we need to get. But first, I want to check on getting those wishbones separated just to see. Because I didn't check what parts we could actually snag off those wishbones, and I might as well get a tire separated. that done. Okay, now we should have this and we'll do the other one as well. Alright, so the tires we need are a, well they have a basic rim and a vintage tire. 205, 75, 15, so 15 inch Okay, we should be able to do that. Let's go take a look. Oh, we got the other one of these separated. Can we save any of the parts? Just that rim if we want to, but I'm gonna think I'm gonna look at into other rims. So if we need parts for a double wishbone. So we need the front, uh, two of these, I think it has. What are the three parts? I, need, I can't even remember. Uh, double wishbone, front spring, front cap. Okay. Uh, front spring and cap. Two and two. Oop, we might as well do the sway bars as well. Now that I'm thinking about it. Is that the only other thing? Yeah. Way bar front and link B. Okay. Clear that list for future use. Alright, let's get these starting to go. I didn't purchase any tires. That's fine. I got a rack of them, so. Alright. Get these put in. These sway bars. 
get our wishbones started. Go look for some nice rims. Okay. So we'll go to the rim shop. What kind of rims would be good for a car like this? I know it had the rim basics. Something that's probably not super expensive. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, hmm. I'm not seeing anything that really suits a car like this. The rim basic just does not look good. Maybe like a rim classic. This one. So we need size 15 and we need four of them. Okay, let's do that. And then for tires, uh, vintage tires is what it had on it. Let's go something standard. And we'll do four of these at 15. 205 for the width and 75 profile. Yep. Alright, so we'll get those started. And while that's going, we'll go put the wishbones on. And I think we'll lower the car down and throw the motor in. Okay. Let's go ahead and lower the car down. We'll get the motor ready to go here. Put this on the balancer. Alright, let's get our motor reinstalled in. And we are now done with you. Alright, do we have parts here? We have the brake servo. Uh, we need a radiator. Um, is the battery on the charger? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and install our battery back into the car. And I might as well get the radiator while I'm thinking about it. Otherwise... I'll forget. Get it here. C. Uh, oops. Go ahead and clear out that again. All right, radiator. All right, we are done in the engine bay for now. So I'll go ahead and raise the car back up again. Keep installing these tires. It's going to take a while, so it's good to get them started now. Okay, the front is done. Let's see. Um, fuel tank I need to get. But we thankfully don't need to redo any of that. And let's get all of this new uh, exhaust system put in. Um, we need a gearbox. It's a long process. I. I Hate to see someone with my other or what other my cars will be like to get back up into a good shape again, but you know that's the point is to get these cars into a usable state. Okay, were we able to? Sh I think we were able to save all of like the the bolts from one side. So I'm gonna need some bolt. I need some of these few bolts. Okay. Thankfully, we are able to save that stuff. We need rear shock absorber. Uh, we have the spring cap. Uh, rear spring. We're we able to save yep, wheel hubs. Uh, one solid rear drive axle was salvaged. Brake shoes, we need one set. 
Right, drum, we need two. Okay. So let's get the other side as far as we can, and then order parts. Thankfully we were able to save some things. Decent ways along on that process. I don't think we have any other tires that need to be done. Alright, let's go ahead and get those parts. Back and forth. Fuel. Tank. Okay. Uh, gearbox. A6B. Leaf. Spring U bolts. We need two. Rear. Shock absorber B, we need two of these, two rear springs, uh, solid rear drive axle, brake shoes, and two drums. I think that's everything there. We'll I'll figure it out when, when I need something that I don't have. Okay, go ahead. Brake shoes, rear drive axle, brake drum, and we can wait on that, put this stuff back together. Okay, U bolt, U bolts, and we need a new cap. We did. All right, we'll go ahead and put the tire on because I can still reach that from here. Okay, so rear spring, rear shock, brake drum. Okay, now fuel tank, uh, fuel pump. All right. Let's go ahead and get those ordered. Two of these. Perfect. Put slap those on the top. There we go. And then finally the rear wheel. Front wheels. Looking snazzy. And then she just needs to go in for paint. Okay, let's get in here. Get our new gearbox installed. Or as I like to call them transmissions, but. Uh, do need to go back onto the engine bay. And were we able to save the drive shaft of this vehicle? No. Okay, might as well also check about the starter. Do I have a starter? I do not, so I need what kind of starter? Just a regular old starter. Okay, start and drive shaft. Okay. All this. All right, that should be the lower part of the card done. Hopefully, I don't remember. <laughs> and once we get the starter in, this car is good to go to paint. Okay, starter goes in down here. All right, we might as well put the oil in while we are at it. And we will take it in for paint. Go to the paint shop. All right. Yeah, look at those snazzy wheels. 
car looks pretty nice. Uh, not perfect, but nice. Alright, paint the car. Set factory. Alright. There's our bright pink Bolt Chapman. All ready to head back out again. Alright, I think it's time to sell the car. For $32,000, Yep, $34,425 is what we got for that. Putting us up at $400,000 for the first time. Well, I probably had that. But, you know, I buy a lot of cars. Well, that's our first project car completed. I'm actually excited. That's uh, the first car out of my garage into somebody else's hands. And, yeah. I guess we'll see what tomorrow brings. Shut up and sit down.